What's up YouTube, this is Galactic Pokemon, and welcome back to another Pokemon card spotlight featuring Lily, the character rare, or actually Clefairy, the character rare. So this card you guys can see is very, very unique. I've actually mentioned it on my stream before. This is a Japanese exclusive character rare, which was released together with, a, uh, with the Dream League booster box. And I think that if I did not remember wrong, is that if you purchase a box, a booster box of Dream League, they would give you this card. So in terms of rarity, it's actually not that rare, but in terms of uniqueness, I do believe that it is very, very unique. Well, first of all, let's just talk about the card. The card is consists of Lily with a Clefairy. And we can see that, you know, Lily, the outfit of Lily, you know, to satisfy that kind of waifu concept, meaning that, you know, she's cute, you know, and, you know, she's wearing like a mini skirt. Um, I think it's almost like she's in uniform um, and with the Clefairy. The artwork itself actually presents the image that they're all pointing at a certain direction on to the right. So, um, yeah. So you can see that Clefairy is also pointing the right, same with Lily, as well as the sign from behind. So, you know, this just makes it a very, very unique artwork and very, very Japanese exclusive. And we know that character rares are unlikely to come back to Pokemon for a while. So what that means is that, um, you know, if you want to complete the full set of character rare, this will be the card to look for. And in the long run, I think that it's going to make this a alternative, not exactly an alternative, but it would make it unique for people who are collecting the Japanese character rare cards. Because traditionally, what we think about Japanese cards, especially in the main set, is that it is an alternative to English. I mean, if we look at the Burning Shadow Charizard, uh, Hyper Rare, and the, uh, have you seen the Rainbow Light SM3H? Japanese version of that card, the Japanese is always going to be cheaper than the English one. Same for Hidden Fate, same for, I'm pretty sure, all the other sets. So traditionally, you know, we might expect the character rare cards in English to be of a higher price than Japanese. But, you know, I think this card will try to bring that gap closer together because, you know, there would be a different group of individuals who will want this card and they might actually collect the Japanese version instead of the English version simply because there is this unique card that can only be found in Japanese. Now, another question that people would like to ask is, will this get printed in English? And I mean, even though we can't be 100% certain, I would say it is very unlikely. And the reason for that is um, Cosmic Eclipse has been out for more than a year. Dream League has been out for more than a year. And, you know, with this kind of new things, even with amazing rares, you know, tag team, and I think that they might do some new stuff to Pokemon, I, I really don't think that they're going to go back and reprint a character rare card. Um, I think when we look back at uh, two or three years ago, when there's a set in Japanese called the Best of XY, where they had the Shaman and Iveto alternative art, um, it was printed in English, like I think almost a year later, but in a special box collection. And if we're not seeing the Go Restaurant and Charizard card or any of the Go Tag Team card, I highly doubt that this card will be printed in English. And you know, these Japanese exclusive cards has been out for such a long time that um, you know the Japanese won't even reprint this as well. So as a collector, I think that these are very, very good things to hold on to. Um, the price of it being now is around 100 USD each. The graded one, I haven't actually checked, but you know, in the long run, you know, would you invest in it? I mean, I wouldn't go like all in, you know, buy tens and twenties of copies. I might buy two. I mean, buying two copies, because I said when in doubt, buy two, right? That's the rule. And I think if you're a collector, you might want to buy two and wait for one of them to go up in price and sell it. So the one that you have is pretty much free, or you can send them both to PSA and, you know, see which one gets a PSA 10. So 
before buying, there's also one thing to look out for. This card has been out for a year, and you really should be able to check the quality of the cards if you're buying on eBay. Because um, what I'm seeing is that, like I said in my previous video, a lot of um, the Japanese cards that you buy that are suggested to be near mint are really not near mint. Because a lot of people know, I mean in Japan, they really know the concept of PSA grading and stuff. So a lot of the time they would pick out the ones that are mint and they would send out the ones that are not mint so yeah that's pretty much it i mean let's take a closer look at these cards so um you guys can see that's clefairy and you know the look on um lily's face is it's very very cute you can see like you know she just have this really really like good smile a nice smile with a little red cheek it's it's, it's just great it's just great and you know the hand and her hand is very similar. So this is definitely going to be a very, very good collectible card. So um, yeah, character rare. So I'll be sending mine off to PSA very soon. And that's pretty much that. Um, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and let me know what you think. Have you bought this already? Or are you going to buy this? Um, yeah, see you guys soon. This is Collect Pokemon. Peace out.